Mierna, Namani Puridji, Nai Nariardo, Nakadamiro, Nagarna, Nadinjari Yankur and Jariarda, Na Wangani, Marni Nabudni, Garna Yarda, Urichi Yarda, Nature Yakandalia, Yakunandalia, Natalia. Gadawira Pari is a beautiful river that belongs to the Ghana people. Our connection to our country and our water is important for us as Aboriginal people, including our animals, our reptiles, insects and fish that also live beside the river. For thousands of years, Aboriginal people have looked after the country including our wonderful river, Gadawira Parry. The reason that Adelaide is here today is because of the River Torrens. It provided the first bit of water source for colonists who came into the river. But since then it's been overloved and overused and overworked. It was a water source, it was the sewer. But then it started to be recognised as something you could use recreationally. And uh, that's when Torrens Lake was built. And today people come here for a bit of rest and respite and a bit of calmness that being next to the water can bring you. Back in the old days you have the occasional dog walker along the river but other than that it wasn't seen as an attractive area to come and visit. It was Kikuya, three corner jacks and uh, not much else. We now have clean, deep, cool water with very little algae growth. A huge range of water birds here all the time. The Riccardi, a top end predator. We can walk along sections of this river and forget you're in a metropolitan area where the traffic noise disappears and all we have is the birds in the background and um, yeah, it could be out in the bush. When we started the project, the river was choked with weeds. The top reaches of the river were quite extreme. It was a jungle. Removing a lot of the exotic species, especially up the top reaches of the river, was essential to getting the reduction of seed bank, which was obviously flowing right through to the sea. Some people perhaps like the willows or the ash trees, but what people don't understand is that an individual willow or an individual ash tree is a beautiful thing, you know, but they're not stable. They um, colonise and if you start leaving individual ash trees and individual willow trees the whole river will be choked. The monoculture of willows and ash trees that had occurred was preventing any other plant species from taking a hold on the river. Uh, it also choked a lot of the sections down. There was a lot of collection of silt and the root systems covered massive areas which were then diverting water away from the river system and, and, and creating erosion issues. One of the biggest issues we've had on the Torrens is being down the bottom end is re receiving everyone else's woody weeds. We've had to wear a lot over the years and through a lot of hard work we've been able to reduce our woody weeds down to minimal. The benefits to the, to the environment with a, a clean river system varies from native wildlife being present, native fish in the river. It all goes to producing cleaner water and not only environmental benefits running through the landscape, through the, the land, but also that it's not pushing all those pollutants out to sea. running community planting events for over 10 years now and it's really gained its own momentum. We get over 100 people turning up to our annual community planting event which I think shows the importance of the river to the broader communities. So it's not just a council responsibility, it's not just the River Torrens Recovery Project responsibility. We need to look after our environment and include the community as part of that. Native bees are one of those things that a good indicator of biodiverse health. Having a biodiverse system means we've got a healthy system which is resilient to a whole range of impacts which are generally human driven. 
City of Charles Sturt came up with the idea to build the Native Bee Hotels. We got some buy-in from the other councils to participate and that was how we delivered it right up and down the river. We've actually seen a huge increase in awareness of the importance of native bees and from that we've gone to people having instant recognition of native bee hotels and why we have native bees and their role in the environment. The challenge that we now face is to maintain what we've achieved and keep the river in the state that it is in now. If the project's not maintained, it's just return back to an infested woody weed area. Um, people won't want to be here because of the infestation of the environment and poor quality of biodiversity. One of the magical things about this river is you could be anywhere. You could be at Birdwood or Gummaraka, anywhere on the travels that the Torrens takes. We get a lot of European tourists and Asian tourists coming through and they just can't believe that we have something so beautiful close to the city. They just absolutely love it. As a open space asset, I think it's one of those untapped pieces of nature in suburbia. People used to turn their back on the river and not really engage with it and you could see that in terms of how people's properties were set up against the river and in the last few years I've really noticed how that's shifting, that people are engaging a lot more and wanting to build along the river and that to me says people are feeling more connected to the river as a, an open space asset, as a biodiversity asset. The Torrens River is vitally important to, to Adelaide and to be part of an organisation that is working to improve it in short term and, and long term just gives you a, a, a great feeling. We, the Ghana people, look forward to a sustainable future for our river system, Gutawirapari, here on the Adelaide Plains. A river that can look after the people of this country a river that can look after the animals, can look after everybody in the community. This is our connection to our river. Gutawirapari.